Hey guys, we all know that the Galaxy S9 will feature some kind of modularity. But we didn't have any renders of Galaxy S9 which can show us the kind of modularity it will have, till today. Concept Creator collaborated with Unbox Therapy to make these awesome renders. First of all, the display is stunning. In these renders, we don't have the notch cut out at the top for the camera and sensors. This approach is more similar to the currently running Galaxy S8, which is not a bad thing at all. But this render with the notch on top looked a little bit better than this one. Whatever, it will still be the best display of all time. The modes I was talking about will be added to the back of the phone. These modes are seriously inspired by Moto modes, which I think is the best way to add modes. I never liked the LG's approach for modularity with the LG G5. The way you have to switch your phone off, pop your battery and then add a mode is way too difficult. The snap-on modes is the best approach for modularity. Samsung will also use magnetic pins to connect the modes without needing any Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection. The Samsung add-on modes are somewhat similar to the Moto modes. These includes a 15x optical zoom lens, an AKG tuned speaker case, and a simpler battery pack case. This mod ecosystem will also grow with time. The main problem with the Moto modes was that they were pretty expensive. You can buy a decent smartphone in that money. And the Moto modes don't provide anything you can't live without. So most of the people sticked with the battery pack case and the JBL speaker case. A very few people bought the 10x optical zoom lens and the projector mode. So Samsung just keep pricing a little bit less. And I don't think that that will happen. Especially the 15x zoom lens will be pretty expensive, coming at around $350 to $380. But this pricing is just my guess, considering that the similar Moto modes also costs around $300 to $350 depending on your country. Well, the camera mode will be expensive that is for sure, whereas the AKG tuned speaker case should be a lot cheaper. At the back of the phone we can see the magnetic pins connectors for the modes sitting at both sides of the camera. Surprisingly, the fingerprint scanner is still at the back. It should be under the display by then. I know, some reports are claiming that the Note 9 will be the first smartphone to have an in-display fingerprint scanner. But believe me, Samsung is working really hard to make it happen with the Galaxy S9. And even if they fails, this position for fingerprint scanner is much better than the Galaxy S8 and Galaxy Note 8. So what do you guys think about the Galaxy modes? Let me know in the comments down below. I will cover everything about the Galaxy S9, so subscribe so that you don't miss any of that. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.